thank you Jesus for everyone who clicked on this video now I want to get straight into my message now in John 6 we see where Jesus literally fed 5,000 people okay um, it was given to him loaves of bread and a couple of fishes and he you know he, he, get, he broke it and he gave thanks to the Father, the Creator, and he was able to feed 5,000 people, okay? Now, these 5,000 people from here, the, um, they, 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 they seen the miracle. And we see it in, in, in about verse 14, I'm going to paraphrase. But when they seen this miracle, they said to themselves, you know, and to each other, this is the true prophet. This is the one, you know what I'm saying? And... In verse 15, we see that Jesus perceived and knew, basically, that they were going to take him by force and make him a king because they seen this great work and they knew that he was Jesus, right? And that he was from God. Their plans were to take him by force and make him a king, okay? Jesus then, in, this, in verse 15, he then went up by himself into a mountain, Okay, so it, it can obviously be implied that when Jesus went into the mountain, he prayed. Now, I'm not saying that Jesus um, struggled with pride or anything like that. You know what I'm saying? I know this, the, um, the title of this video was a little misleading, <laughs> but you know what I'm saying? That was just to get you to click. But what I, what I want to say is that, you know, Jesus Christ, instead of... Um, because he was a man, right? He was a man and he had flesh, right? He had uh, temptations, right? Instead of, you know, allowing himself to be taken out of his position by other people, he and, and taking and also other people taking him out of the will of his father because it was not for him to be a king over, you know what I'm saying, a group of people or one, you know what I'm saying, nation. He's king of all, you know what I'm saying? His purpose was greater than him to be king over those 5,000 people or wherever they were residing at. So instead of allowing, um, you know, his flesh to take over or pride to take over, you know, him being a man and all, he went up by himself. And, you know, I'm sure it can literally be implied that Jesus prayed. We've seen this all over in the Gospels where Jesus would pray, you know, and Jesus would combat temptation or the devil, you know what I'm saying, per se, with, um, you know, the word of God. You know, we've seen this uh, after his 40 day fast and we've seen that the devil came to him, you know, and he responded with things from the word of God, you know what I'm saying, to combat the devil. So, you know, to, um, if you what I don't know. You know what I'm saying? If, if if we look at this and we see that what Jesus did, you know, I don't know why some people don't think that they should pray more or fast more or meditate on scripture more because even Jesus himself needed strength. Even Jesus himself needed to pray on a consistent basis. Why the Bible even says to pray without ceasing, right? Before Jesus Christ was about to be persecuted, he literally prayed to God for the strength because he did. He was actually, you know what I'm saying, anxious. He was, well, I wouldn't say anxious, but he was really feeling a type of way like he was in anguish. He was even sweating blood, the Bible says, because, you know, this was a very um, tough cup that he was about to swallow. And basically he was asking God to strengthen him to receive this cup. Right. So if God, if Jesus even needs to ask God for strength, you know what I'm saying? What makes you think that you don't need to? This is why you continue to fall, because Jesus Christ relied on the Holy Spirit. He relied on God throughout his whole, you know what I'm saying, time here on earth because he was a man. Yes, he was God, but he was a man. So he needed to rely on God just the same way that you do. OK, so stop being prideful. OK, stop disqualifying yourself and start literally doing the same things that Jesus Christ himself did. And that's go before the Lord, go into your secret place, go into your mountain and seek God and you will receive the strength and you will receive, you know what I'm saying, all the power and the glory that you need from God himself. But make sure that it's all praise to Jesus, okay? I hope this message, you know, blessed you or encouraged you and helped you out in any way. Y'all be blessed in Jesus' name.